The broad aim of the Mindfulness, Compassion and Action Group is the advancement of our understanding of human well-being. In other words, what makes people thrive and flourish. Now, foundational to our well-being is noticing what we're experiencing. The word that we use for that is mindfulness, which is about being aware of and paying attention to our ongoing experience. There's very good evidence from science that mindfulness has great benefits. Just eight weeks of a standard MBSR, Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction course, leads to structural changes in the brain in those very areas where you'd expect to see change. So for example, the areas in the brain that control attention or bodily awareness or kindness or emotion regulation. We're also very interested in interventions to increase well-being, particularly based on mindfulness training. And one of the programs that I'm involved with is uh, one I helped to initiate called the Mindfulness in Schools Project, where we've developed a curriculum for adolescents called dot B, dot stop, B is breathe, uh, to train them in how to be mindful. They love it. Adolescents love the opportunity to just stop and breathe. And the evidence that we've published shows that it really has great benefits. Um, right after the training compared to a matched control group, um, they have higher levels of well-being and fewer symptoms of depression. And the effect lasts for at least three months after the end of training at a time when they were doing um, exams. It can also be used in organisations and looking at mindful leadership and what's another thing we're very interested in and also in communities trying to increase well-being through communities and um, increasing mindfulness and compassion uh, will lead, we believe, to greater well-being for individuals, particularly kids so they can have it for the rest of their lives, um, but adults and communities.